World Series of Poker is like an all-you-can-eat buffet, much like those you can find in Las Vegas casinos, and Joao Vieira is one of the greediest pros on the circuit. Throughout the six weeks of the festival, our Portuguese pro is seated at a different table every day. A true all-round player, Joao eats everything from gourmet pleasures like dealer's choice, Raz, horse, and Dooster 7, to large no-limit Holden banquets with thousands of guests. It's at a star-studded table that Joao will conclude this great poker feast at the very end of the WSOP as the team Winamax player is rewarded with a prestigious final for his 15th cash of the summer. It's the $50,000 buy-in high roller, the last chance for the wealthiest and most talented players to shine before leaving Vegas. 107 players took part in the tournament, creating a prize pool of over $5 million. After two days of fast-paced, nerve-wracking, feverish play, there are only two opponents left standing between Joao and his second world championship bracelet. Obviously, they too were champions in their field. Gallen Hall, a respected figure on the American circuit, is also in the hunt for another bracelet. As for Lander Lijo, he is one of the rising stars of the Spanish community. Just ask Adrian Mateos, who considers him an equal. Chip leader by a short margin, Joao finds a golden opportunity to provoke the final duel. As he gets dealt a pair of aces from the small blind. Just as short stack Lander goes all in for 10 blinds on the button. The Spaniard turns over Queen Six of Hearts, Joao is obviously an overwhelming favourite. King 8-8 eight, eight on the flop. All is well. Turn, a Four of Hearts. Lando Lijo has found an improbable flush. He doubles up. Meanwhile, Joao is no longer chip leader. Time to get back to work. Getting back to work means continuing to be aggressive despite the headwinds. For example, with a big 3-bet pre-flop following a button raise from Landalijo. But he goes all in and Joao is forced to give up. Meanwhile, Lander Liho lost some of his stack to Gallon Hall and was again forced to go all in. Oh yeah, we got go. all of the easy four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Four times. Four, 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 four. All right, four, four. 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 His ace deuce four. of hearts holds up against the Americans' four. king four. The Spaniard is back to over 20 blinds. As a result, Joao's opponents have reversed their positions. Gallon Hall is now short stacked and is forced to go all in with ace deuce after a raise from Joao. However, Lander Lijo has found a great hand from the big blind. Calls with ace jack and it holds. Gallon Hall is eliminated in third place, taking home $625,941. The final drill of this high roller can begin. Lando Lijo has almost twice as many chips as Joao Vieira, but the team Winamax player will be aggressive in trying to close the gap. A raise after a limp is enough to take the pot down pre-flop. Limp on the button from Joel. Lander checks his big blind. Flop is queen deuce four rainbow. No one bets. Turn, a six. Lander pushes in a small bet. Call. River, ace. Check from Lander. Joao takes the opportunity to bet with a very expensive block and just king high in his hand. Lander sniffs out the scam and pays with just a six. The 
blinds are increasing rapidly, unlike Joao's stack. But the Winamax player tries to raise by any means necessary, even if it means once again getting caught with a bluff. Such as in this spot, which wasn't raised pre-flop, where Joao bets on the river with a missed draw, and his Spanish opponent has no trouble paying after hitting top pair on the river. Joao is down to 11 blinds. He needs to find a good spot and fast. When he sees Lander pushing his whole stack on the button, he doesn't hesitate to call with ace three. Joao is faced with his opponent's ace deuce, the kind of hand that often ends in a split. Yeah. Except when a three appears on the turn. Joao increases his stack to over 20 big blinds. It's back to the heads up grind. Lines have increased again. The min raise is now 1.2 million, and that's the amount Joel wages on the button. Lander calls. Flop, Jack, Jack, four. Joel C bets, but Lander check raises. Called by the Portuguese pro. Turn seven. Check, check. Then check, check on the rivered ace. Joao shows ace king. The rivered pair is enough to beat Landers king four. It's 1 a.m. in Las Vegas. The $50,000 high roller heads up is about to tip the scales. Joao raises on the button, and Lander pays. No one bets on the 10, 9, 7 flop. But the seven on the turn is enough for Joao to attack. and again on the river with a huge overbet. Lander calls, but this time, Joao isn't bluffing. With 7-8 in his hand, he had plenty of room to make a big play. Now down to four blinds, Lander is forced to shove with 8-5 of spades. This time, however, he won't crack Joao Vieira's aces. Joao Vieira can celebrate. He ends the 2022 World Series with another World Championship bracelet, his second in No Limit Hold'em.